Today's battle is an interesting one. It's between a Chinese dragon and Goku. Okay, so some of you might be asking, well, Goku could easily destroy a Chinese dragon. Well, no. He can't go into... So the rules are here. Goku can't turn Super Saiyan, Ultra Instinct, or any of those. He can't turn into any of those, okay? It's only his regular form. He can do Kamehameha and other shit, but other than that, yeah. And now let's get into the... Okay, let's get into this stuff. The Chinese dragon can be up to 64 feet long, 30 feet tall on all fours, and can weigh up to around 50 tons. Meanwhile, Goku is 5 foot 9 and weighs around... 136 no wait no wait off oh. no actually Goku is like so it says here that Goku is actually five foot nine and weighs 136 pounds that's surprisingly light for Goku I'm not joking <laughs> okay but anyways I thought Goku would be a lot more you know heavier or taller yeah, but anyways, yeah. Go okay, so the Chinese dragon's abilities or and weapons. He has claws, tail slap, jaws, and yeah. But he can also control the water and air. He can also control Yeah. He can Chinese dragons can sometimes shoot fireballs, but other than that, yeah. So fireballs it is. He can control the air, the water, yeah. He can also fly. Oh, yeah, the Chinese dragon can also summon natural disasters, too. Now, Goku. Goku's abilities he can just punch, kick, he can fly, and he can do Kamehameha. And once he, and once he charges it up all maximum weight, he can just unleash it, and yeah. He's a skilled martial artist too. Okay, now let's fight. The Chinese dragon's just resting in a cave. He goes out and see that there's a human sitting right there. He gets the Chinese dragon gets pissed and roars loudly at the at, at the little human. The China the Chinese dragon Goku is like it's like hmm. So you want to challenge me, eh? Bring it on. He then shoots some you know short burst blast, comment how I have blast. But the Chinese dragon dodges them all and then freaking Falco punch He just Falcon punches Goku. Goku Goku then follows the Chinese dragon, tackles him to the ground and <laughs> Yeah. The Chinese dragon doesn't expect this power from a little man, but he now regains his respect. The Chinese dragon gets pissed and shoots fireballs at him. But Goku dodges them all. He then gets tail slapped. Goku goes flying 100 feet in the air. Before Kamehameha. Sending a long wave and power. Long and powerful wave of Kamehameha energy. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Towards the Chinese dragon. The Chinese dragon dodges it. Okay. Well, Goku does it again. But but then this time, it hits the dragon. The dragon goes flying and crashes into a freaking mountain. But the Chinese dragon has a secret, obviously. He does freaking water bending, and then summons a huge hurricane after him, saying, giving Goku, spinning Goku around and shit. Dude, Goku's just flying around like he's puking everywhere. And sh once he lands back down, he starts puking water and puke, and it's bodily fluids. But then he says, <coughs> You're a tough fellow, eh? Fine. <laughs> he he does his Kamehameha move again. And the, the giant, the giant, giant Chinese dragon 
summons a freaking tornado after him. But Goku combats that with a Kamehameha, and when an unmovable object meets an unmovable force, I already made this joke in the freaking Magikarp vs. Swordfish video. Link in the description. It, a giant fucking explosion happens. Boom! The Chinese dragon and no survives. How about, how about Goku? Goku survives too, and he's still flying. Goku rush, fly rushes towards the Chinese dragon and kicks him multiple times before, <laughs> ding, sending him away. A Chinese dragon regains his flight ability and then shoots a long wave of fire. <laughs> but Goku combats this with another Kamehameha. It's a long fire fight. I don't know. It's a long duel. <laughs> it ends in a giant freaking blue and orange explosion. The, the smoke clears. And can we see that the Chinese dragon is doing hand-to-hand -hand combat with freaking Goku. But Goku tail slaps. No, no. I meant Goku kicks the Chinese dragon in the face. Making him go towards, making him hit his head on the mountain. <laughs> Knocking him out. The Goku then freaking does another last and his most powerful Kamehameha. Ah! <laughs> Straight at the Chinese dragon's face. The Chinese dragon looks. He tries to combat it with fire. And and his face gets a freaking eviscerated. He just turns into goo. And when the and Goku checks on the dragon. The, the dragon is completely decapitated. Goku. Then says. Then says. You were a tough opponent. You were never. But I defeated you anyway. <laughs> I don't know how to do a Goku impression, okay? I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. Verdict. In a fight between a Chinese dragon, a, a biblically correct Chinese dragon, and Goku, Goku wins around 70% of the time. I mean, sure, the Chinese dragon could drown Goku with his water. And he. Yeah. And the, dra the dragon knows the water bending and air bending. And plus, he knows how to summon natural disasters. But Goku is just too powerful. Even without his Ultra Instinct forms and his other freaking forms, he can still defeat the Chinese dragon. So, yeah. But who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.